guys. I haven't vlogged in a very, very long time. I think the last time I vlogged was the Newport travel vlog. Yeah. A lot has happened since then. I've been working full time now. I got a new car, which I'm in right now. It's the first car I've ever bought in my entire life and I am in love with it. <laughs> I told Ben I think it's my favorite material object I've ever bought before. So that's basically the two major things that have happened since the Newport vlog. Right now I'm sitting in the at home, you probably can't see it, the at home parking lot. I haven't been in this store in a while. If you've never been into at home before, it's like a, basically like a warehouse full of just home stuff like furniture, decorations, they have basically anything you could ever want for a house. It's not my favorite place ever. I only go there every once in a while. Um, it's not like home goods. I love home goods, which is actually across the street from me, if you can see it. <laughs> I love home goods so much because I feel like you go in there and you find something new every time you go in. <clears throat> this place is more of just like a standard, I don't even know how to describe it. They kind of have the same stuff all the time, but it's just so big and overwhelming that I just, I don't know, I don't get the same sort of cozy vibes from it as I do from Home Goods. But anyway, I'm going in there because I want to see if they have coasters, possibly like fall autumnal coasters. But we'll see. I just really need new coasters because mine have been falling apart. So yeah, I'm going in there for something very specific, so I don't anticipate I'll be in there very long. Today I kind of wanted to decorate my apartment for Halloween slash fall, so that's why this is on my mind. Ben isn't with me right now because his friend came to visit from, I think he lives in California, but his friend came to visit and they're out to lunch right now, so I'm gonna have to do my own thing, you know? <clears throat> going into all the home stores. I'll probably go to Home Goods after this. I was just there the other week, but you know, they might have new stuff. Let's go get some coasters. I did not find anything that I liked in there. <laughs> I got succulent coasters from there like a couple years ago, which are the ones that recently broke. So I thought that I'd be able to find something, but I did not. So now I'm going over into Home Goods to see what they have. Home Goods, my favorite store. Hi guys, it's the next day now. I didn't film anything the rest of the day yesterday because I didn't really do anything. The power went out here, so I couldn't do my decorating. Ben and I just went to get some dinner. I got only one thing at Home Goods. I got some tea towels. Let me show you. So I already had this one, but I bought this one yesterday to go with this, and this came in the pack with that. So yeah, there's that. This thing also came with the tea towel with a pot holder. I thought those were cute. Um, so yeah, that's all I got at Home Goods. Oh wait, no, I also got these pillows at Home Goods too. Forgot about those. Oh wait, no, I didn't get these at Home Goods. I got them at Marshalls. I feel like I need to steam that, it looks kind of wrinkly. But yeah, I got those two pillows at Marshalls. And I also went to Pier 1, which I never really go in Pier 1, but I was looking for some pillows to go with this pillow <laughs> that I got at Michael's. And I got that black checkered one at Pier 1 and that orange one at Pier 1. So yeah, that's basically all I got yesterday. And now I need to put up the rest of my Halloween decorations, which are in this box behind me. Eloise is sitting on right now. Hi! Oh, she's biting me. Let's get to putting the decorations up. Okay. 
Okay, so I laid all of my stuff out. Now, just have to put it in its place. I got two, most of this I got last year. But a couple weeks ago I got these two things at Home Goods. Got this little bowl that says treats. It's a ghost. And this happy Halloween sign. And yeah, I think that's the only new things I got. Yeah. Okay, let's put them in their place. all done now let me just show you around I didn't film everything that I did but this is the table over here with all my mugs I got most of these mugs at Marshall's or Home Goods I love my mugs this one I recently got the other day my brother's girlfriend had it <laughs> hi Bailey and um, I really liked it so I saw it at Marshall's the other day and I was like ooh, gotta add that to the collection and yeah, I just love me some mugs. There's also one under here that's hidden. Uh-oh. That one's from Crate and Barrel, actually. But the rest of them are all from Marshalls or Home Goods. These, I got a while ago. They're all from Target. This, I believe, is from Target. And then over here is what I didn't feel me doing. Um, I just have a bunch of, like, knickknacks lining this countertop. This... I got it Michaels, it lights up, but I need to replace the batteries. This is the thing I put my keys in. It just says autumn. This little dish. Um, I think we used this for my sister's engagement party last year. So I stole that and <laughs> I have these fake flowers in there. I feel like I need to cut them because they're not sitting in it right. But I don't have anything sharp enough, enough to cut them right now. So I'm just gonna sit like that. This I got at Marshall's. This I got at Target a while ago. It also has a light in it that needs a battery. This was Michael's, I think. This I got, I think, at Michael's as well. This I already told you was Home Goods. Home Goods. I don't know where I got that. <laughs> I've had it for a while. And this I think I got at some sort of festival a year or two ago. So yeah, that's the countertop area. Oh yes, there's Ben, <laughs> sitting watching TV. He was doing his homework. Are you still doing your homework? He's sitting where you can see the pillows, very festive. <laughs> um, I already showed you that. That is my mantle. I put little pumpkins on the side of the TV. There's another one over there. I put some pumpkins down by the fireplace next to the candles. There's another one. Yes. There's Eloise. <laughs> I put this little acorn. Oh, I need to get rid of these. These are my summer coasters. Um, I put this little acorn there that lights up. Pumpkin right there. Um, what else? Oh, here's my pillows. Now with all of the other decorations. Very festive. And I think that's it. Those are my Halloween decorations for this year. Decorating is over now. I need to put these somewhere for next year. Hi guys. It is Thursday now and it's two days before my sister's wedding. There's a cookie table at the wedding. <clears throat> 
and I'm sitting in the kitchen now about to make oatmeal cookies. Yesterday I made chocolate chip cookies. They are right here. Ta-da! And yesterday, well, this happened a couple of days ago. Our knob on our oven that controls the heat broke off. But the guy came to replace it today. <laughs> So yesterday, I kind of just estimated what the temperature was supposed to be on my oven. But it ended up turning out okay. The cookies were a little bit overdone, but they still taste good, so whatever. But today, they will be the perfect temperature because the oven's fixed. So anyway, let's get to making oatmeal cookies. Where's my recipe? I took a picture of the recipe my mom uses. So it's on my phone. There it is. Quaker's best oatmeal cookies. My ties are uneven. Oh well. First step, heat oven to 375. Got it. Beat together margarine and sugars until light and fluffy. I use real butter, not margarine. So, yeah. <laughs> what? I'm also making a double recipe, so I have to double everything. So one and one fourth cups margarine. One cup is two sticks. Got that. Two sticks. So I need two cups, so I need four sticks. Wow, that's a lot of butter. This is how much butter I'm using. Oh my God, that's so much butter. Let me just double check that this is actually right. I used all my butter. Gonna plop that in the bowl. Eloise is staring at me. Sitting on her chair. Hi. Hi. You like watching me bake? Hmm? Huh? Three fourths cup firmly packed brown sugar. Let's get that brown sugar firmly packed. One half cup granulated sugar. So I need a cup of granulated sugar. One egg, one teaspoon vanilla. I didn't get that right. That was a good crack. Okay. Mix that in. Now I have to mix the flour with the baking soda in a separate bowl. Four. Two teaspoons baking soda. One teaspoon cinnamon. Mix that up. Okay, here we go. A little bit at a time. Whew, working on my arm muscle. I'm gonna be jacked by the end of this. I think this is my favorite cookie batter raw. Why did I stop recording? Why did I stop recording? Anyway, before they stopped recording on me, I was saying, this is my favorite cookie batter raw. Mmm. Complete garbage. Have you ever tried this? Huh? I'm Try it. I'm you like it? I'm a little Fine. Whatever. I'm done with these now, so I'm gonna lick the batter off. Mm. Now I have to add the oatmeal in, which is the hard part because it's hard to mix in because it's just very thick. I usually end up just mixing it in with my hands, so I'm gonna wash my hands. Three cups of oats, so that means I have to put six cups in. 
this seems like a lot. Six. It's literally the whole container of those. And <laughs> then these cookies. Oh my god, okay. Let's get to mixing. This just does not seem like it's gonna work. So much <laughs> And we have delicious oatmeal cookie batter. Okay, now time to make the actual cookie. First batch is done. Now I gotta transfer them to this rack. I only have one cooling rack and it's kind of broken. I should have got more, but you know, that's okay. Dealing with what we got here. Cookies are all done. Those ones are cooling off a little bit. And these ones are done too. Oh wow. Now that the cookies are all done, I'm gonna go to bed. It's almost 11.30. Tomorrow, gotta get my nails done at 10 a.m. Gotta pick up my dress before that. Then we have the rehearsal at the church and the rehearsal dinner after that. And then the next day is the wedding. Oh my God. It's Caitlin's wedding day and we're all getting ready. I needed to do an intro to the video. <laughs> Steph's getting her makeup done, and Caitlin's taking a picture of her. <laughs> Just doing some narration. Do you like all this attention on you, Steph? No. <laughs> and over here, Caitlin's getting her hair done. I'm taking a video. <laughs> Say hi, Cameron. I know. I need to. to it 
last year so um, it's just a festival in like a small town they have food booths craft booths all kinds of festive fall things so that's what's happening today I found out on Friday that I passed the Pennsylvania bar exam so I'm officially a licensed attorney oh my god <laughs> I am extremely relieved that I passed because I had myself convinced in the weeks leading up to it that I had failed. <laughs> I'm not the type of person that normally gets nervous about tests, but I was really nervous about this one because a lot kind of was resting on this decision. <laughs> like I was scared I was gonna get fired from my job if I failed. I wasn't gonna get paid as much if I failed. There was just a lot of pressure surrounding the whole thing. <laughs> so. I checked on Friday when I was at work. They were The results were released at like four o'clock. Well, it was exactly four o'clock on the dot. And I was so nervous. I was like, if I fail, everyone in my office is gonna know because they're all waiting to hear. They're like sitting here waiting with me to hear if I passed or not. So when it came to be about four o'clock, I like stepped out of the office and took my phone with me and went down onto the street like of my building. And I looked there, so I was by myself when I looked because I didn't want the pressure of people at work coming into my office if I failed. <laughs> so I went on there and my hand was shaking as I was refreshing the page over and over again to see if I passed. And I ended up passing. What a relief. But yeah, I'm at my parents' now. I'm gonna go in and we're gonna make our way to the festival. We're here at the fall festival. It's just me and my mom. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> I have to walk about 10 miles now to get up to We're parked in someone's backyard, basically. <laughs> and we have to walk like 10 miles just to get to the road. <laughs> Let's go. My mom and I got pierogies, like we always get. My mom brings her own salt shaker. <laughs> we take the pierogies very seriously. <laughs> Yeah? What? Wanna put your face in there? Go ahead, baby. Put your face in it. Put your face in it. <laughs> Pick him up and put his face in it. <laughs> yeah. Wanna put your face in there? You could be a farmer. Go ahead. Go to Mariah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he's a farmer! He's a farmer! Oh, he's like, what is this? <laughs> Your face was in there. It was cool. Uncle Ben. Hey, bud. <laughs> Where are we going? 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 Where are we're going. <laughs> What's that pumpkin? <clears throat> These ones are all weird. No bumps on them. <laughs> Is that the pumpkin you want? 
The weirdest one. All lumpy. Weird one for weird kids. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> He's like, this one is calling me. Is it calling you? Go ahead. He's going. Do you find one? Which one do you like best? But we will, yeah. That's why we came early because we could get pumpkin and Oh yeah, I forgot you that up. So I kind of like this one. This is all warded up. Ew! That's disgusting. Are you serious? Oh my god. It's disgusting. I'm looking at that bag. Like that's a good one that you can just I don't know. You want just want everyone's attention. No, no, no. I always buy So I like the ones that are called pumpkins. He's trying to get you. Oh, we still got a couple more here. What are we doing? Are we going this way? Uh, <laughs> Go follow me, Pat. It's good to have minions. <coughs> no, you're pulling it. I like it. Pull the car. You gotta pull. What? You need help? You hold it like this and walk this way. Okay. He's like, yes, you guys got this. Found one? Yeah, because it looks like a butt. Oh my god. Oh man, that's perfect oh for you. That is so. <laughs> <laughs> that was nice. That was the right one. Looks like he's leaving for the war. <laughs> Bye. As a matter of fact, yeah. he said it. Yeah. All right, I'll give it to him. <laughs> yeah, we're real, real begrudging. Uh, I love this. Russian judge. <laughs> Hi, guys. It is a Saturday, and it's very fall like out. And Ben and I got pumpkins earlier with his family. And now we're at a place called Seven Springs, which is a ski resort, only in the fall time they have a fall festival. So we're at the festival, it's very fall-like, the foliage is turned, completely turned, and we're gonna go to the festival now. Let's go. We're parked on the top of this hill, so we're gonna have to walk, but let's do it. Gourmet hot chocolate. It's like chocolate with toasted marshmallow on the top, caramel, and cookie, and those sprinkle things. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I might go into a sugar coma. Won't make me sick. I'm gonna eat it. 